this and today I thought I would have some fun and make a Seven Arts Surprise uh, Briarfest Surprise Horse speculation video. It's just three weeks away from Briarfest now so in three weeks time we will be all checking in virtually and I can't wait. So I thought I'd have a little bit of fun beforehand and have a go at guessing what the surprise horse might be. To clarify I have no affiliations with Briar at all, this is completely my own thinking. And what I've done essentially is go down the identify your Briar traditional moulds list and exclude moulds based on when they were made. So we don't traditionally see any vintage style moulds that are po um, pre-2000s. I've excluded any kind of pony sized moulds as this is typically a traditional at full sized adults that we see for the surprise horse. And I've excluded them on reasons like they're a recent regular run or um, they have been a Briarfest celebration horse or store special or special run in very recent years. So without any further ado, I'm going to jump in and start with what I call my wild horse guesses for the Briarfest surprise horse this year. These horses are horses that I think have a possibility of being a surprise, but much slimmer than my final six. So without any further ado, let's jump in and have a little look who we think might pop up. First horse on my surprise horse wild cards to start off with is Smarchicolina. The main reason I've popped this mould on the list is that it is a stock horse mould and it hasn't had a recent release since 2019 when it was Latigo done it, so it hasn't had a recent release in the last two years. It has been a celebration horse before but that was quite a while ago now and I feel there are lots of different potential colours and things they could do on the Smart Chicolina mould quite nicely. Um, it was last a Briarfest special run I think back in 2019 as well as Latigo done it was released that year. So. There is a possibility, but it might have been used a little bit too recently in Briarfest history. And the main reason I popped it on the list was because of the stock horse side of things. I just have this feeling that we could be looking at a stock horse this year, maybe because we haven't had one since 2017 when it was Bollywood Surprise. So I feel like one is maybe due, but I don't think Smart Chicolina in my gut is the one. There's just a very slim chance based on a few things. So I'm going to pop Smart Chicolina on the possibly but very, very slim chance list. Next up for my wild card, wild card horses is the Weather Girl slash Trotting Arabian Mare mould. So I popped this girl on because I think, again, it's not a mould that's been overused, but it's still quite popular and post 2000s. So fits with the kind of theme we've had previously for the Briarfest surprise horses. It has, however, been a fairly recent um, Briarfest release again, so I think it was back in 2019 that we had Natasha. So maybe a little less likely, and I think if we were going for Arabians, there is another one that will feature later that I think would be slightly higher up the list. But again, I would say the Weather Girl mold does have a chance, but possibly a little bit slimmer than some of the others I'm going to mention here today. We have Dundee again. I popped him on because of the stock horse kind of theme. He's a fairly new mold, possibly a bit too new for the surprise horse. And I think he would look good in lots of different colours and as potentially decorators as well. However, I feel he is a little bit too new to be in the top contenders. And he has had a recent release back in 2020 as Pepto Boone's mold. So he's again one that I kind of felt I wanted to put on the list, but I feel he would be quite an outside chance of being the surprise horse this year, so that's why he's fallen into the wild card category. So I popped the Lipizzana Mare on here because I felt her title, the performance of Lipizzana Mare, as she's formerly known, kind of fits in really nicely with the theme. Um, this is all about arts and performing arts is one of the seven arts, so I thought it might be possible that they could go off on a tangent and use the performance Lipizzana Mare. The downside is she usually comes over fall and I do not think they will do mare and foal set. I think it will be still a standard adult horse just to make life easy. So I don't know if they would split her up and do her without the foal. I think it would be quite cool if they used her because she is a performing horse, um, as they call her. But again, I think she has had quite a few recent releases and she has been very best special runs before. So I think again, there's a very slim chance of them actually using her. But I kind of popped her on the list because I would absolutely love her to be the surprise horse. I just don't think she's as strong a contender as some of the others potentially. My final wild card, if you had asked me to do film this video yesterday, would probably have actually made it onto my top six for the surprise horse contenders. So this is Bluegrass Bandit mold. 
The reason she's been demoted to a bit of a wild card now is the fact that they have just released um, the next in the Birds of a Feather series for the Collector Club, which is on this mould. And I just feel it would be very close for them to then put out a surprise horse on the same mould as well. So I kind of felt there was a lot of things in her favour prior to yesterday. The fact that she's a post 2000s, fairly popular mould, hasn't had a recent release in quite a while. Um, so I was going to go with her in my top six, but after yesterday's news, she has been demoted to a wild card. <laughs> so in sixth place for my surprise horse guesses, we have the Idacus Mold or the Standing Warmblood. The reason I popped him on the list is he does have quite a few variations. So he can have a loose mane, a braided mane, a slightly different tail. And he has been, it has been a fair while since he's been released in large numbers. Um, so I think the last release for him was Nirvana, the 2020 Seattle Soiree model. Um, but before that, it was the Web Special Bow in 2019. So he's not had like too many big releases in the last couple of years. So I think they could have quite a bit of fun with messing around with main and tail variations for him if they chose him as a surprise horse. Um, the only reason I think I'd put him lower on the list is maybe because he's a warm blood type. He's kind of quite similar to um, Giselle, the last year's mould. So I have popped him in sick. I feel like he is still fairly high up and based on all of the Briar moulds, but I, I don't know. I just don't have quite the same feeling as I have about some of the other moulds potentially. I could be completely wrong, of course, about any of them, but he features on my top six. I think he could turn up, but he would be very similar to last year's surprise horse. So in fifth place, I've popped the Connemara Mare or Croy mould. Now, part of the reasoning I put the Croy mould this high up would be, one, it's very popular. Um, again, it's a post 2000s model, but it's not too much of a recent release. And this mould also has a unicorn variation, which we've seen as Cascade and Caspian, that regular run set fairly recently. But I'm thinking in a year where they are going quite hard with colour and the theme, they might want to do a cool unicorn decorator on this mould, and they have the mould to be able to do that. So. I think that would be quite interesting to see, or like a rainbow decorator would look really nice on this mould. Um, her kind of cons would be that she has been a recent regular run, this mould, so she was the Sable Island pony last year. Um, uh, but she hasn't been a Briar Fest special run for a while, I think the last special run was 2015 with Chanel. So she hasn't really been recent in terms of Briar Fest history, but she has had a recent regular run in the last two years, so if she hadn't had if she hadn't have had that, I would have probably put her even higher up this list. But I wouldn't be disappointed if she did turn out to be the surprise horse. I think they could do some really cool colours with her. Um, there's lots of different colours in ponies of different types. And they could certainly make her into a really cool decorator or even, as I say, have a unicorn kind of rare surprise horse. So I think she could be quite fun if they did choose her for a surprise horse, particularly with this year's theme. Number four on my surprise horse guest this year would be the Desertado mould. The reason I popped this on the list is it is a fairly new post 2000 mould, but not too new. It hasn't been used as a regular run for quite a while. Um, I think the last one was 2019, which was Lightning Ridge, the kind of limited edition decorator. And before that, it has been a Briar Fest special run at points, but not since, having a look, um, 2017 when it was a raffle model, and then a stall special in 2016. So again, not really been a recent Briar Fest history mould. I think they could do lots of different cool colours on this and decorators. Um, as I say, his last release was a decorator, so whether that counts against him a little bit, possibly. But I don't think he's a unsensible choice for a surprise horse this year. And they could definitely do some really cool colours on him for the theme horse of different colour this year. Number three, I've popped down the gaming stock horse or Wyatt mould. I've actually thought quite a bit internally about where to put this horse as I kind of have a good feeling about it. Maybe it's completely nonsensical, but again, going with my kind of theory that I feel like a stock horse is due for the surprise horse, um, this will probably be my number one choice if they were gonna go for a stock horse. So the reason I have popped Wyatt on the list is again, they kind of gave a little bit of a hint maybe in their text when they were describing the seven art surprise of um, pulling out all the stops. That makes me think of kind of a, um, barrel racing, western, gaming kind of scenario. I could be reading too, way too much into this, but that's one of the things that I've kind of picked up on. The other reason I would 
suspect potentially we could see the gaming stock horse as this year's surprise horse is again it's not been used recently at Briarfest the last release for it was um, in 2016 I believe with Bozeman it has been however a recent regular run it has been Stingray and I think if it hadn't been a regular run in the last year I would have probably put this horse as number one so that's the only thing really stopping me putting up higher in the list is the fact it has been quite a recent regular run um, the fact that it has a base doesn't really put me off. They have done Smarty Jones before, who has a much more substantial base than this. So I do think we could possibly see the Wyatt gaming stock horse mould come into play. And that would be really cool if they used it, because I think they could do lots of really cool patterns on this. And um, they can make it a paint horse, an Appaloosa, a quarter horse with roaning or lots of different cool colours. And it would look awesome, I think, as a decorator as well. So I really hope that we might see this mould, which is funny because I'm not usually sold on it, but for, a, for the purpose of the horse of doing colour, I think it would work really nicely. Getting towards the end of the list, we are down to number two, and my second most likely guess for the um, Brightfest Surprise Horse this year will be the Arabian Mare, um, who has got several names because there's several different variations for this mould, so the S Just a Dream, Oasis, make a wish mold that might give you a hint of why i popped it so high again i think this year they're going to go quite hard on the variations with them having the number seven in the title for this surprise horse and the arabian mare mold has lots of different variations you can change neck position head position manes tails and they could do lots of cool colors on this mold because again i think they haven't really used it much in fact the s just a dream mold i don't think has been seen um, since 2016, which it was a Briarfest special run for Rano. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And we have had a recent version of the Make-A-Wish version, so this kind of version, which was Raya, the Brick and Mortar special run. But again, I don't necessarily think that would count against it for the surprise horse this year. I, I do think this would be very popular if they did do these Arabian mares with lots of different variations, because that would be really cool. And a bit more different to some of the other surprise horses we've had so i do want to pop her on my list as number two um i think it would be fantastic if they did use her and again she kind of fits with this whole post 2000s mold but not too new thing so we might see the arabian mare and i feel like if we did it would be a very popular choice for the hobby i think a lot of people like the mold it's not the most anatomically correct and there are issues with the mold but for something fun for lots of different colours and potentially decorators, I think this could be a potential winner. Claiming my number one spot for my top guess as surprise horse this year is Celtic Salonero. So the reason I picked the Salonero mould is for a few reasons. So the first would be um, dressage is often described as the kind of art form of equestrian sport. It's very delicate, very beautiful to watch. And I feel you can make a lot of comparisons between dressage and the other arts as described in Briar's description. They could certainly do a lot of cool colours on this mould and I feel like it's not had that many colours popped on it so far. They've mostly stuck to kind of beige and chestnuts and maybe the odd grey um, and very rarely a pinto. But I think they could do some really wild colours on this mould that would look superb. Also, he looks so nice as a kind of rainbow decorator, similar to kind of Spectrum and that kind of thing. Um, I think that he would be amazing as a surprise horse and I'd absolutely love to see him as the surprise horse this year. He's also not been used too much recently. So the last release for him was Vidades, which was around 2019. So he's not had a recent regular run release and he's not really been that involved in Briarfest previously. I think the last time he's been involved with Briarfest was 2015, where he was um, a store special and I think very limited in terms of quantities. So he's not had much to do with Briarfest, which I think plays in his favour a little bit. Um, I would absolutely love to see him as a surprise horse. I'm maybe a bit biased because I absolutely adore this mould as well as to why I popped him at number one. But I do think he has quite a strong chance. I know last year he was in the top three for a lot of other speculation videos. So quite a lot of people do see potential in him being a surprise horse and I do think he would tie in really nicely with the theme. The only thing that's kind of going against him um, again would be the whole he is a warm blood type mould again 
and last year we had Giselle for the um, Celtic Fling surprise. So I don't know, we may be unlucky and maybe he won't be the surprise horse based on that, but I would absolutely love to see him. As I say, I have done this based on what I think logically would work well for surprise horses, but we don't know, we're not Briar, so it'll be three weeks time until we can find out when people start to first get their surprise horses after the Briar Fest weekend. I can't wait to see what turns out um, to be the surprise horse. Whether it's any of these models or not, I'm sure it'll be beautiful and I can't wait to see what the seven variations might be, if there are seven variations. I certainly think Briar will do something really cool this year and they have got a fantastic theme to do it with. That brings me to the end of today's video, so I hope you enjoyed having a little look through of some of the things that I think could turn up as the surprise horse this year. I have absolutely no idea, as I say, I have no affiliation with Briar whatsoever, so we could see one of these models, we might see none of them. And I'm completely okay with that, I love having a guess anyway, and I'd love to know what you think might turn up as this year's surprise horse so feel free to comment below your top guesses for this year's Briarfest surprise horse and um, also let me know what you're looking forward to about Briarfest this year I know I'm certainly looking forward to just being part of the community again as it was so positive last year and I'm really looking forward to doing some workshops over the weekends as well as they were fantastic last year so I'm going to try and pop up some more videos potentially before Briarfest depending on how my schedule goes so if you did really like this video and want to see more similar content, please feel free to click the subscribe button and give me a like. And until then, I'll see you in another video soon. And I hope you enjoyed Briarfest 2021 Horse of a Different Colour. Take care now. Bye bye.